Shalom, everyone. Whoever needs deliverance, prayer, please listen to this video as I give information and then we'll go into prayer in the end of this video. Now, prayer of release, deliverance of curses, several information before we go into prayer. Know that faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word rhema of God. You have to recognize, repent, renounce, and resist. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 2, if there's a curse, there's always a cause. So we must discover the cause before we deal with the curse. Now, here's sources of curses. Number one, idols, false gods, and occult. Number two, dishonoring your parents. Your attitude towards your parents is not right. You must honor them as your parents regardless. Number three, illicit or unnatural sex, such as incest or pedophilia. Number four, injustice to the weak, the helpless, such as abortion. Number five, self-imposed curses, speaking death over your life, speaking bad about yourself or over someone's life. Number six, people with relational authority, father, husband, teacher, pastor. Those who have relational authority, just like a, such as a father, if so a father says to his child that he or she will never succeed, then he is putting a curse upon his child, which really will affect them in the long run. Number seven, witch doctors, witches and warlocks. Number eight, soulish prayers. The attempt to pray for what you want and make someone do something by the means of a spirit spirits that is not the Holy Spirit. And number nine, unscriptural covenant. Covenant with evil people that are under power of evil forces, parents, uh, or free, Freemasons. Now here are blessings and curses, signs. When it's in the blessing, you have exaltation, health, reproductiveness, prosperity, which is mean, which means success, victory in God's favor. Now, curses is humiliation, failure to reproduce, mental and physical sickness, divorce, poverty, defeat, oppression, failure in God's disfavor. Here's seven factors. Mental and emotional breakdown. You're falling apart. Repeated or chronic sicknesses. Doctors cannot find any, any normal cause. Repeated miscarriages. Problems with menstrual cycle. Breakdown of marriage. Family alienation, which is a form of witchcraft. Financial insufficiency. Always short. You maybe have, you maybe have your paycheck, but it's like it's never enough. Accident prone. Always have an accident. History of suicide or unnatural death. Okay. Um, curse is like a long evil arm, like the past. When you are just about to succeed, this evil arm trips you up. That's what a curse looks like. Now, here's a couple passage that Jesus did for us on the cross so that we may be redeemed from the curse. It says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. And giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The one who does that, does what is sinful, is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all power, all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. I'll give scriptural reference in the comments uh, after this video. Now, moving on before we pray. Number one, confess your faith in Christ. Number two, commit yourself to obedience. Number three, confess any known sins of yourself or of your ancestors. 
Number four, forgive all other persons that has harmed you or did you wrong. Number five, renounce all contact with the occult by yourself or your ancestors. Number six, commit yourself to get rid of all occult objects. Number seven, release yourself in the name of Jesus. Now, if you're ready, please repeat after me and please pray to Jesus, our Messiah, not me. Pray to Jesus, our Messiah, for deliverance and release of curses. Now, here we go. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe you're the son of God and the only way to God that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the dead. On the basis of what you did for me, I believe Satan's claim against me are canceled. And so now, Lord Jesus, I submit myself to you. I commit myself to serve and obey you. And on that basis, I take my stand against every dark evil force forces that in any way that has come into my life, whether it be through my own actions or actions of my family or my ancestors or something larger than I am a part of, wherever there is any darkness in my life, any evil force, Lord, I renounce it now. I refuse any longer to submit. And in all and in in, in the almighty name of Jesus, the Son of God, I take authority over these evil forces. I loosen myself from them and I release myself entirely from their power. I drive them from me now in the name of Jesus. And I invite the Holy Spirit of God to move right in and make my deliverance and my liberation fully effectual as only the Holy Spirit of God can do. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.